also sculpt in wood, and wood is probably one of the oldest forms of sculpture. I mean, it doesn't, if, if a civilization were to die and the wood ends up on the ground, you're not going to find it, but there are, there are very primitive wood sculptures that are found. I mean, my work, actually, I consider kind of primitive because, um, I don't know, I drew a lot of my concepts from Easter Island and just, I love these tall, slender pieces that I do. And um, the question is, is to preserve it. Today we have much better ways of preserving it. And um, I love working with wood also because it's just so organic. And I'm, today I'm going to demonstrate how I sculpt in wood. In, uh, in the northwest area of the United States here, the people do totem poles. They do different totems in other countries also that represent family, and family is very important. And that's basically what the, uh, the wood sculpture started out as, a human being of some kind with a relationship with a family or a wife. And um, I try to do the same thing in a modern age. I do totems also. I do the 10-foot sculptures too. But I don't put multiple figures in them, like with the head stacked up like this. I usually do one or two figures together. And I'm going to give you an example of taking a small tree and creating a sculpture. Okay, I want to do a wood sculpture. So what do I do? I go out in the woods. Because I want to find a log or a branch or something that I like, which is going to inspire me. So I did find a log. This is a small piece of a tree. And I am going to follow the curves on this to create a sculpture. And now that I have the log, I'm going to take my sketchbook and put down what I think I want to create with this piece. So I get my sketchbook, open it up. I was inspired by my wife's father, who was a war hero. And when he passed away, I decided I wanted to do a war memorial piece. And I'm going to name it Eternal Hero. All it basically is, I'm going to follow the line of the sculpture, going to follow the line of the log or the tree, and my sketches are very simple. I want the arms to come up like this. I do very simple sketches. And it's not uncommon for me to use a lot of little squirrels to get the shape of the body. And I want the legs to go down like this. And then he's going to have a Medal of Honor up here. To bring the energy to the piece, I will put gold leaf on the faces. Gold leaf on the faces and on the hands and on the metal. And the piece will be painted to make it look like bronze. 